Hello from Terminal 5 here in London Heathrow Airport. And today we're traveling economy back to uh, Toronto on British Airways flight BA93. And I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the flight in a cheap seat, because that's the best way to travel, right? So uh, the flight, we're just waiting for the gate to pop up on the, uh, on the flight information behind me and it hasn't come up yet. So uh, once we get that, we'll make our way to the gate. So here at Heathrow Airport, we're actually flying out at Terminal 5. And I was gonna make a video originally as we came in. Uh, but we was on a night flight and it was dark the whole way, so I scrapped that idea. But I did pick up some uh, footage with my cell phone after we landed. And it's kind of interesting because when we landed, we actually uh, landed on a remote stand and had to be bussed in, which is kind of weird. I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, we're just waiting for the gate and uh, I'll take you through Terminal 5 and onto the flight, which today is a Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner uh, built in 2018 and uh, should get us into Toronto in about seven or eight hours. visors to pull down it's all uh, done by gases in the uh, screen so I'm going to try and demonstrate this so press it all the way down and now look at that the screen the window goes dark how cool is that that's actually really cool so I can still look outside the window, no shades, I can still look out, see the view, but no heat, no glare, really, really cool. So 
first little service drinks. <laughs> Two small cans of Diet Coke. A little pretzel. And a fantastic service. Alright, just had to be served some food. <coughs> so I stopped my movie I'm watching, which I'm watching six minutes to midnight which is really really good so uh gotta find out what the lunch is and i'll get back to it vegetable biryani. Oh, that vegetable biryani smells really nice but i'm gonna have, you know what i might have that it actually smelled really good it's curry i should have chicken pie chicken pie thank you very much all right, so this is our little presentation. Oh, look at that chocolate salted caramel pot. That was kind of nice. So what I got here is um, like beans, chickpeas, a bit of broccoli and tomato, and a creamy salt with cream underneath. And um, that is what the uh, chicken pie looks like. Now we got our food just in time. Um, Seatbelt sign just came on, a bit of turbulence, so that everyone behind us is not eating yet. But I am. Made the right pig's ear of that. Alright, done. Go. That's good. Now for a spot to sit. Coffee, please. Milk and sugar. Thank you very much. Uh, one's good, thank you. Thank you very much. It's nice to be called Sir. I like that. Sir Nigel. Definitely like it. Sir Nigel, I think. We should call him Sir Nigel Hay, yeah. Very professional. I like it. Time for a spot of lunch, snack, uh, chicken Caesar or hummus, hummus and something. What was mine? Hummus and what? Hummus and tomato. Hummus and tomato, tomato. And uh, yeah, I don't like Caesar, so I gotta go with this. Cute little bag. We're about an hour away from landing. So, oh, oh. <laughs> that is like the saddest sandwich I've ever seen. That is like, I thought it was bad when Air Transat give you wraps and stuff, but uh, I guess Air Transat wins this round. Gee, that is like, um, that's one piece of bread. That is it. That is really sad. Wow. So, very disappointing. Seven hours, 20 minutes on a plane. I mean, we did get a meal, but that was like five hours ago. And now I have one piece of bread with a tomato on it and a bit of hummus. <laughs> At least your chicken Caesar looks decent. Tastes good. That's not good. So I'm curious, I just had a sandwich. That's all we had. But we got a knife and fork. Who eats a sandwich with a knife and fork? I know I'm being petty, petulance. Yeah, negative Nelly. Oh, 
All right, we're an hour away from uh, landing in Toronto, so uh, give you a sum up of the flight. Uh, starting with uh, the outbound and the inbound um, at the airport. Sorry, if I drink my coffee, I can keep my mask off a little bit. So basically, at Toronto Airport, we had no problems. It was uh, smooth sailing on the way out. So it wasn't quite the same at Heathrow today on the uh, start of this flight. When we arrived at Heathrow, it seemed all right. Uh, we got through the line pretty quickly until we got to the very front and we came to a complete halt for like 45 minutes. Uh, due to many passengers not having the correct documentation, uh, the very fly, and also the paperwork to get into Canada or the United States, it caused a few problems and forced people into manual check-in. Then people in the line behind us who were waiting for a flight, let's say San Francisco and New York, were then being pulled out in front of us. So frustratingly, we got held up. That said, though, the agents were very, very friendly once dealing with. Now, the biggest problem with Heathrow, I found, was Terminal 5. It is a zoo, an absolute zoo. Uh, both flights we did with British Airways, BA92 from Toronto into Heathrow, and the one out today was on a remote stand. So we didn't actually board the aircraft from the terminal. It was basically, uh, we bus there and bus back. So that wasn't too good. And in Terminal 5 itself, once you go through security, it is chaos. It is a really, really busy terminal. I don't recall it being uh, as chaotic in Terminal 2 when I was flying with Air Canada or any other airline. Uh, but apart from that, let's let's move on to uh, the flight itself. Uh, very, very friendly staff here on British Airways. The captain was very welcoming. Uh, so was um, so was the yeah, rest of the crew. Um, very prompt service. Uh, very friendly. Uh, the aircraft is clean, um, seats are clean, uh, and basically, is, and actually the aircraft itself, a 787-800, a very, very smooth flight. Uh, one of the, uh, both flights there and back have been extremely smooth, even though a bit of turbulence, but it's comfy, the seat is comfy. Um, same about a leg room as well, I got an Air Canada, and, uh, and Air Canada's, sorry, Air Canada. Um, so... It's not as good, I'm sorry, Rouge is still the worst by far. I don't think anyone can get worse than Air Canada Rouge. Uh, Air Canada, I still like the Air Canada flight. Um, overall though, I think this is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not too, not, too, uh, not too bad actually. Now, for the price, we paid uh, quite a bit of money for these flights. And it's kind of weird because when you look around you, we're all sat in economy here. And you know there's someone probably sat in front of you or next to you who's probably paid double the fare you have but you get the same service, you get the same seat, and so on. And the biggest downfall I had with British Airways was with seat selection. Now, because one of our party traveling had documentation issue with a last name uh, on her medical cup is different than her passport, we weren't able to use the Verify app, and we weren't able to choose our seats online 24 hours beforehand, so we weren't able to get our seats on the way over that we wanted. Uh, that said, we called British Airways yesterday and got our seats, and that was uh, sorted out no problem. Who's back on? Now, uh, going back to the seat selection, if, uh, if, you, if you want seat selection, you have to pay a lot of money, and then this is the worst bit about British Airways. Uh, the seat cost was $55 to select a really, really bad seat. Average was $75, up to $155 one way, to pick a seat, which basically is free. You've selected 24 hours before your flight. But if you want to select it beforehand, you're paying up to, up to $155. Uh, that is the most expensive I've seen compared with uh, Air Transat, Air Canada, uh, WestJet, and Air Canada Rouge. So uh, that was a very, very big disappointment. So when you travel with three or four people, 100 bucks for one way, that's $400, three or $400. So it's uh, that is not very, very good in my opinion. Uh, tickets on this flight uh, varied in price. Uh, when we were lucky in the weeks leading up to it, um, we saw British Airways with the cheapest one was $639. Uh, but that didn't include baggage or anything like that. It was just your seat and a meal. Uh, but if you paid uh, the little bit extra, it came to 920 with tax for us, and that gave us our baggage, our meals, seat selection. Uh, no, sorry, don't give you seat selection. Um, only 24 hours before departure, 
but that same flight later on we've seen prices up to as much as two and a half thousand dollars in the same cabin so keep an eye on that but when we booked this flight i was looking for something cheap and at the time westjet and air transat were offering really good deals and this one popped up and it was only a little bit more expensive than uh, air transat and because i've not flown british airways in a very very long time i thought you know let's give it a go so that's why we're on the british airways flight because uh, we just paid a little bit more uh, than air transat and uh, we just wanted to try out their service uh, but in the next review, I do have planned uh, an Air Transat and a WestJet flight in the future uh, for flights into Gatwick and Manchester. So uh, I'll be doing them later on in the year. All right, uh, the screens are a pretty good size on these uh, flights, by the way. It's easy to navigate on this. Uh, it's hard to see because of the sun. But there goes the garbage pretty quickly. Uh, you can actually chat between seats. So if you're in a large group of people, you can actually chat between other members uh, on the plane just by using this remote control which turns into a keypad. Uh, there's games, listen to music, movies. Um, I just watched um, Six Minutes to Midnight and uh, the new Marvel movie, the one in Japan, which was all right. And uh, Kids Zone and a few other things. So it's nice, nice layout, nice and clean. Um, yeah, so overall it's actually pretty decent. It's not much different than Air Canada. Uh, we're just dropping into the cloud. <laughs> Trying to work out the customs declaration card. Oh, you <laughs> what date did we leave? The 26th? 24. London on the 25th. As we uh, make our descent into Toronto Airport, I'm quickly going to give you a quick recap of what I think about our British Airways Flight 93 from uh, London Heathrow to Toronto. Overall, it was a very good experience. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with British Airways. There's a couple of things I noticed on the inbound and outbound flight was how tentative the staff are to detail with dealing with passengers' needs. It was observed and I was very impressed by that and it was good to see the staff being very, very thoughtful and very tentative. I've seen so many airlines in the past where crew just dismissed people or haven't got any time, but British Airways was complete opposite. So that was fantastic to see, 10 out of 10. Uh, the only downside, actually there's two downsides. One, the lousy sandwich. It was terrible. <laughs> And secondly, the other one would be the chaotic Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. It is, it is chaotic. And uh, apart from that, though, I can't fault British Airways staff for the service they gave us and the flight itself. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I look forward to flying them again in the near future if the price is right. So anyway, until next time, I'm going to let you watch the end of the flight as it lands. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video, most likely on the water, on my Sea-Doo or chasing a storm somewhere. Until then, take care.